Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundo and today we're actually going through my first ever monthly hauls. I got a few different things for that I bought for videos and myself, a couple of things just for myself and then I received some things in PR. So we're going to talk first about everything that I got myself and then at the end if you prefer not to watch everything that I received in PR. So everything will be linked down below and the videos if I have done a video on the product will also be linked down below so please give this video a thumbs up just for the effort I'm putting in no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I only give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video so the first thing I got one product from Mecca it is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Quickie I am wearing this one today and I did film this whole look as well uh, which I believe I'll be putting up before this video so that I can link it so you can watch it but I've also worn this in another video so I've worn this in two videos so good. It's full coverage. I would say um, it has those similarities to the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer, but I feel like it's not as matte. I feel like it's a little bit more of a natural finish. The Too Faced is the most full coverage you can get, and it's very mattifying, and I love it. But I feel like this is just like a more of a muted version of that. I really, really like this. Next, um, I bought from the Chemist Warehouse 50% off sale. So I got the L'Oreal True Match Nude Pumping Tinted Serum. This was 50% off for $20. Originates at $40. This is what this is what is happening to the world. Um, I got the very light shade, the lightest one is 0.5 to 2, so they're flexible shades. Perfect shade match. Perfect. This is my first time ever wearing this foundation. I'm wearing it today and um, I really like it. It's super natural. It's a light coverage, but it wasn't, I thought it was going to be super dewy. It's not, it's not at all. It was quite nice. I mean, it's only a first impression. I've been wearing it for like half an hour, but so far I like it. I bought the L'Oreal Prime Lab 24 hour pore minimizer. I've been wanting more primers like this. I have a lot of glowy primers, but these are the kind of primers I reach for. That's why I love my Elf Putty Primer because I just, it's one of the few kind of smoothing primers that I have left. Uh, this blurs pores, resurfaces skin over time. It's got 1% AHA BHA complex. I haven't actually tried this yet, but I will give it a little swatch right now because I haven't even swatched it. I, I bought this very recently. I want to see oh okay that sunk right into my skin a little bit blurry i mean you're not going to be able to tell the difference it's on this hand <laughs> but nonetheless that'll be coming up in uh, a new my next video where i'm playing with makeup or maybe even to get ready with me and then i bought two w7 products this brow pencil which i'm wearing today is a stroke of genius i have the shade the micro blade brow pencil i got the shade brunette it's a little bit too dark for me but I think we can get away with it if I just like really bronze up. But this is darker than my eyebrow shade. But there were like two shades there, maybe three. And so I just, I didn't match one of the shades basically. But I think this was like $3. So definitely a steal if you feel like you're this brunette shade. And I can't even remember the other shades because I was just kind of looking what I thought was going to be me. And then I bought the... Uh, Blush. I've been hearing things about this. These are the NARS dupe. The packaging is exactly the same. I got the shade Strip Tease. Such a pretty color. This is me in a nutshell. It's got a rosy, nude, burnt kind of look. I just love these kind of shades. I did put a little bit on, but it's over the top of a pink cream blush. So I wouldn't say it actually looks like this. So I want to put this in another video where I'm properly just wearing this one alone. See how that just really sheared out? I think this is gonna be really promising. I think this is gonna look really pretty. Um, and this shade is just stunning. I love this shade. Oh, so I'm very excited to try that again. But I mean, I'll have the video linked where I've done this face so you can see it, but you don't see a huge difference when I apply it. Next, I went to Priceline and they also had a 50% off sale. I got the Maybelline Superstay. Now, I haven't filmed this yet. I wanna do a proper wear test on this, so I wanna like film in the morning and wear it all day. And I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. It was 40 down to 20 as well as the L'Oreal. This is a 24 hour skin tint with vitamin C, and I think it's gonna be very comparable, which is why I'm wearing this, so that I can compare it to this and kind of 
tell you if it's worth buying if you already have this do you need this vice versa kind of situation so i bought the shade maybe three i think i think i like the shade three which i think looks okay <laughs> it's hard to know when there aren't testers but yeah i bought that from came um from priceline but i don't know my opinion on that yet and then i bought my cellar water oh i've constantly just been living off i don't use my cellar a lot I only really use it for swatching, taking swatches away, or sometimes I'll use it if like I've been out and I just can't be bothered to wash my face. So very rarely do I need my cellar. So I've lived off like little sample kind of add on things with purchases, but I, I have none left. So I decided to get this. This was like 7.50, 50% off. And it's the Micellar Vitamin C Cleansing Water. I've never actually used this. Cause like I said, I've never really bought my cellar water. Um, fortunately, I've never really had to. Um, I've just acquired them in various ways. It's very strange. Um, but I finally bought one. Big girls growing up. Oh, this is bottles made of 100% recycled plastic. There you go. So I, I wanted to try the vitamin C one. I know it's not vitamin C, but if it can just do a tiny bit of brightening, I'd be okay with that. From DB Cosmetics, they sent me a bunch of stuff a while ago, but then I went into store. I bought a couple of things to complete my full face of DB Cosmetics. So the brand sent me a few things, but I didn't have enough for a full face. So I went into my local chemist, which has the brand, and I bought this bronzer. This is the Get Glowing Pressed Mineral Bronzer. I have the shade Barcelona Bronze. I'm wearing this today. I love it. I will link the full face of DB Cosmetics. You have to watch it if you haven't already. And you're, if you're Australian, if you're not Australian and you're just curious, give it a watch too. But if you're Australian, this is the prettiest, prettiest bronzer. It is so light and buildable and natural and it's the perfect shade. See, it doesn't show up that much, but you know it's good. If it's too pigmented, you don't want too pigmented. This is... So recommend I think it's around the $15 mark and then I also bought the cream bronzer which I've always wanted to try this is the quick fix cream bronzer in a shade sunny so I'm also wearing this as well underneath same as the powder bronzer very natural it looks real pigmented but it blends out really nicely and just looks so pretty on the skin so I definitely recommend this too Check out that video if you haven't already. I always wanted to try this and the blush too, but they didn't have the blush that I wanted in stock, so I decided not to buy it. And I had, they'd already sent me a powder blush. Um, and then lastly, I bought a concealer. So they sent a primer and a foundation, but not a concealer. So I bought the Skin Renew Ceramide Concealer. I bought the shade Porcelain 400. This is really nice. I also found out, found out accidentally after I filmed this, you pull this off and there's a little, I used it, a little applicator. It's not amazing, but yeah, I didn't even notice that, that there's that little applicator. I did it by accident and I found it um, when I was using it. So this is a really nice, natural, dewy, great for dry under eyes concealer. I really, really liked this as well. Then I got some stuff from Cult Beauty, which I don't often buy from. I do try and buy in Australia, but there were a couple of things I've been wanting to try and they had a 25% off sale. So I got, I got the small size, thinking it was going to be bigger than this. It is tiny, tiny. I can't believe that I bought this. <laughs> Look at how tiny this is. I think I paid like $25 for this. I want to say it was around that price and I'm really annoyed that it's this tiny, but I will definitely travel with this. <laughs> I'm not even going to open it because I don't want to break the seal until I travel with it. This was hyped and I wanted to try it. It's the Supergoop Glow Screen SPF 30. I am planning on going overseas at the end of the year, so I'll probably take it then because it's 15 mil so I can get a, you know, I can get a couple weeks out of it. So I might leave it for then. And then I know this isn't an Australian sunscreen, so I don't necessarily want to use it on Australian sun because it's not maybe going to meet that. But anyway, I want to give it a go. So I bought it, even though it's tiny. Then I bought the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. I bought it. I bought the Pillow Talk Pink Pop. I am wearing it today. 
but like i said i put the w7 over the top and it's just kind of warped the colors so you can't see that you can't see this properly but i did wear this first in the video so you do actually see what this looks like whereas you couldn't tell what this looked like because i put it over the top of this one but this beautiful absolutely beautiful i was i was hesitant to think is this going to dry down but it did it's dried down really nicely um that glow i have is a highlighter over the top so i'm going to do my best to keep this clean i've locked it and i've cleaned it but i'll show you a little swatch of what remains it's like a peachy pink it's not actually i thought it was going to be like a baby pink it is, but it's it's quite pretty. I don't, I, I still need to play with it a little bit more. I like it. There's definitely no doubt that I like it, but it's not what I expected it. I thought it was going to be like the Made by Mitchell blushes where they're a bit more pigmented and really dried down, but it didn't really do that, but I still like it. Anyway, you know how sometimes you have an expectation of something and then it's not that you don't like it, you just, it's not what you were expecting. That's kind of what I felt like with that. And then I got the Huda Beauty Easy Bake powder in cherry blossom it's always out of stock on the australian sephora website and i got an extra five percent off because sephora only ever does 20 percent um this was 25 percent. so i am wearing this today too loved it that's all i'm gonna say uh but this is the pink one so pretty so glad i finally own it i've been wanting this for a really long time so they, these were not like impulse purchases. These were things I've, I've been really wanting. And then I was like, you know what? Bite the bullet. And I did. I bit that bullet. And then Adore Beauty had a sale. This is what I want to travel with this foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin in um, 1N06, which is the powder that I own. It's the same shade and it came in a mini. So I was like, oh, because the minis don't come in all the shades, but it came in my shade. So I was like, oh. I think I paid like 25-ish dollars for this and I love Makeup Forever as a brand. One of the first brands I ever tried when I started getting into makeup, Makeup Forever, oh, I was just like, cause they're like the professionals, you know, they do professional makeup artistry. And anyway, I got a little baby mini. I think it's gonna be a good shade. Let's do a little swatch. I haven't actually tried it yet. I definitely wanna try it, but it's got a really nice thin formula. I think I'm gonna like it. I wanted a nice long wear natural finish foundation to travel with. That's a, such a good shade match for me. So I'm really keen to give this a try. I definitely need to. I've just had this all in my basket for this video. So I think I'm gonna give it a try after this now. And it's such a perfect little size. It's the old shade is Y218. They've changed the shade name. 12 mils. So half, less than half of the standard 30 mils. I just think it's so cute. It's so cute. Like travel with my little foundation and my, and my little sunscreen. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. I've been wanting to try this brand for so long. This is the Who Is Elijah Discovery set. Um, it was originally 55 and I got it for 44. So still a little exy in my opinion for a discovery set, but I still saved 10 buffaroonies. So I was like, okay. I love the way it's come. I'm actually going to do a first impression smell test on my TikTok. So if you want to know my opinions on that, it's not going to be on my YouTube channel yet. I might do it later down the track, but I'm going to do it an initial impression on my TikTok. I always have it linked down below my TikTok, all my social handles, but it's just my name is my handle. I'm pretty much the only Samantha is on do. So yeah, we have, I love that it tells you the notes on the side of each one. I've got his, her, which is spicy, woody, fresh. Her, floral, delicate, citrus, haze, smoky, wood, sweet, muse, earthy, musky, floral, oh, I think I like that, nomad, amber, floral, woody, oh, I'm going to like that. <sighs> this is very exciting. We have nightcap, woody, earthy, leather. I think they're very genderless. I haven't actually read that much about the brand. <laughs> I just know that I, what I did read, and they're Australian. Oh my God, so excited. Oh, fresh tropical woody. Oh, I think I'm going to like that. Coconut milk, black feet, green leaves, pear stems. All oh, that sounds like me, but it's woody with Tonka. <gasps> okay, very exciting. And then morning after, woody leather musk. Oh, it's got 
It's called cardamom. I don't like cardamom, but that's okay. We're not gonna love all of them. And then I don't want you guys to judge me. It's probably the only time I'm ever going to buy from them. I did buy from Temu. I'm not someone who will ever promote it, but at your discretion, do what you want to do. I bought these little puffs. I got five. I've got one that I've been using. Um, I got three black and two pink for like a dollar fifty. So I got those, and they work really well. Except the only thing is, when I was filming this video, like the little bits of fluff was going all over my face, but I mean, that's what you get for $1.50. And then everything else is PR, so if you wanna exit out of this part, please do so now. PR, yes. I don't know what you call this. It's not PR, I got this at work. So I work at Mecca and we have a learning system where we educate ourselves and then you go in the running to win a product. Just because you do the educational program doesn't mean you win anything, but you go in the running to win something. Well, I won these two things. I did the um, learning on the Mecca Max Chill Out Brightening Eye Cream, which is really good because I wanted to try this. So cool it on the late nine bags and early morning puffiness. This balmy eye cream expresses ceramides, vitamin C and hyaluronic acid from a cooling metal applicator to soothe, hydrate and brighten the under eye area. Um, they're kind of advertising this as a great introductory eye cream if you're not, if you're kind of new to that world and you're just wanting like a basic introductory eye cream. So it says it's with ceramides and vitamin C. I don't think it's going to be strong. I don't think I would promote this as anti-aging. Um, I would more promote this as plumping, hydrating is how I would. But it's got this really cool applicator. I'm not going to pump it out because I don't like opening products until I know I'm going to use it just for expiry reasons, but I do know that I want to use this. And then I got Rose Ink. I love Rose Ink. This is the Hydration Replenish Micro Encapsulated Moisturizer. This is one of my favorite brands, so I was very excited to receive this. A cooling non-comedogenic -com gel cream gel hybrid that nourishes and softens while strengthening the skin's moisture bar barrier. Oh, I'm just looking at the ingredients. Glycerin is high, squalane is high, niacinamide is high, and centella, which is calming, is high. So they've got some great ingredients in there. And I think, oh, uh, oh, I think my skin's gonna like this one. Has it got a, yeah. Oh, it looks like it's leaked a little bit. So I will get that little bit and I will swatch it. But it's got those little beads in it, little hydrating beads. Just like their um, tinted serum, it's got the suspended pigment in it. Oh, it's very light, almost feels like water. I think this will be a really nice summer. I'm gonna keep this for summer. Oh, stop it. Oh, we got a little envelope. We've got a little applicator. That's very cute. Then from the Kind Collective, I got sent two products. They sent me a bunch of stuff a while ago, but then they sent me two more products very recently, well, this month. This is the Kind Collective Hydrating Lip Elixir. I wore it in the beginning of the video where I'm wearing this, so you can't see it now because there's no pigment, um, but it's a very natural lip uh, conditioner that you can wear at night time throughout the day, but it's not, it looks like there's a tint, but there's not really any color. So this is made with shea butter, mango butter, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and hyaluronic acid. So very smoothing and conditioning. And that it is. It's just a really nice natural kind of product. Um, but I would not say that there is any color. So that is really nice. I've been really enjoying that. And then we have the Blur Perfection Primer from the Kind Collective. This color correcting soft focus finish. I use this as my primer today. It offers sheer luminous coverage with color correcting pigments and a soft focus finish. So this is also packed with avocado oil, pomegranate oil, rosehip oil, kakadu plum oil, kangaroo pore extract, sheer butter, and vitamin E. Can be worn alone or as a makeup base. So this has like a tint to it. I would say for light skin tones only. And you'll just kind of see how it's going to just even skin tone, but it's not going to so much have coverage. It's just going to make the skin kind of look really healthy. So I think it's a really nice product and I used it today. Yeah, that looks really nice. And it looked really nice under the foundation. I had no issues with it. It's just a really nice primer if you're looking for something that's more perfecting as a primer. I got two products from Antipodes. 
which is a New Zealand skincare brand. I'm so excited to be trying this. I'm currently using their Lime Caviar, Caviar Moisturizer, which is perfect for this winter weather. It's got AHA in it and collagen, so it's plumping and it gets rid of my dead skin cells. So always looks good when I wear that. And then this is the Aura Manuka Honey Mask, which they recently sent. And I'm so excited to try this. I think I usually wear a mask on the weekend. What's today? Oh my God, today's Saturday. I thought it was Monday. I don't even know what day it is. I don't even know what day it is. Maybe I'll do this tonight. <laughs> I could, I love doing a mask on like a Saturday night in the bath. Oh, love it. So maybe I'll do this. I keep saying I'm gonna do it and then I forget, but maybe I will actually do it, you know? <laughs> And then I also got the Kiwi Seed Oil Eye Cream with Avocado Oil and Vinanza Grape. Oh, I've kept this sealed because your girl. Actually, um, I just finished my eye cream, but I'm going to pick out another one that I've had for a while. And so this will go in my collection, but I definitely want to use this. Vitamin C Rich New Zealand Kiwi Fruit yields a cooling, soothing treatment for the eye area. This fragrance-free formula helps moisturize and soften fine lines suited to most skin conditions. Emco Beauty, they sent all four of the lip balms to me. The Luminous Eye Wand. Do I have it? I don't think I have it. They sent their new products, the Luminous Eye Pen, and they also sent the Emco Beauty Flawless Glow. Now these are mine that I use because I bought these, but they sent the same products. I've put aside for a future giveaway along with one of the lip balms. So these are mine, but they sent like this as a set, um, which, when I got it, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that's so cool, but I've already bought it. <laughs> but I didn't have these, so I have these. I'm actually wearing the red one today. This is Girl Boss. Such a pretty red tint. I love a red tint. I'm going to swatch them all for you. And the one that I don't have is Passion, which is like a pinky tone. This is Bella Vita, which is the Dolce Vita dupe for the NARS lip balm. These are all, I mean, you can just look at the packaging. And then I have Lava. I don't know if, what this is a dupe for, but we have Lava, Bella Vita, and then Girl Boss is the red. So they're very pretty. I would say they're a little bit more tinted than the NARS. The NARS are quite sheer because I have them as well. Um, I have Fast Lane, which is like a purpley kind of nude. And I find that quite sheer. Uh, I feel like these are just a little bit more tinted, but I still really, really like it. Like it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. From Pollen Nation, which is an Australian uh, honey-based skincare line. This is Pollination Skin. This is the Honey Shots Clearing Gel. Be kind to your skin, add a little honey. Honey is wonderful ingredients for your skin. It is an antibacterial and an anti-inflammatory, um, and it has healing properties. So it's wonderful for acne-prone skin, blemish-prone skin. So I'm gonna be using this when I start to break out hormonally, which I do every month. So this will be my go-to because I do have a couple of products, but I don't love, I don't have any like targeted spot treatments. The only one I have is the Mario Badescu, but I don't like it. I don't feel like it works, the drying lotion. So I'm really, really, really keen to try this for when that happens. Both Bees sent me a second package. They previously sent me these lip shines which I love. I gave one to my mum as well. The Burt's Bees secures two titles in Gloss Car Awards 2023. Um, so they've sent me those products. The best new lip product for its squeezy tinted balms and best new natural skincare product for its conditioning lip scrub. I just got to say, excuse me. It's so cute. You know I'll be keeping that. I'll be wrapping someone's gift with that. So I've got the bees back, beeswax lip balm, the basic one. Now I have the honey one that I actually use all the time at home. I have it in my everyday makeup drawer. I'll do it before makeup or I'll just do it when I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm just around the house. I'll wear that. So this will kind of be like my top up for that. I gave already gave one from the last PR package to my husband. So he'll be using that one and then I will use this one. Um, I just find them really easy to have around the house. And then I have the lips conditioning lip scrub, which they won the award for. So you put this on first. It smells like honey. And then you put on the overnight intensive lip treatment after it. So the first ingredient in the lip scrub is honey. <gasps> no wonder they won. And then we have castor seed oil, vegetable oil, lanolin, beeswax, 
cocoa, seed butter. There is a bit of silica. It's pretty basic ingredients. There's not a lot in here, which is good. Mmm, so nice. I might just swatch it because I'm not going to put it on right now. Okay, so it's got a scrub to it, but it doesn't feel abrasive. I don't like those ones that are really intense. This feels almost, it's not sugar. I wonder what that is, but it almost feels like it's going to be conditioning on its own. Interesting. I'm actually quite interested to try that through the winter because I don't get, I'm pretty good at keeping my lips hydrated, but in winter, you just can't keep it at the standard you want it to. I like, Today I was super crusty and I'm not usually in summer. So this will probably come in handy. I would like to leave this beside my bed maybe next to the intensive lip treatment. So this has a little bit more ingredients that I don't understand, but we have sunflower seed oil, peppermint oil, all this caramel in here, jojoba seed oil, glycerin and then a bunch of stuff I don't understand. So it says ceramides are oils naturally found in your skin and are necessary for maintaining your lips natural moisture barrier. Our overnight lip treatment with ceramides works with your skin replacing lost moisture and leaving you with soft hydrated lips. Oh this smells like peppermint. This smells totally different. The other one smells like honey. Oh that feels like intense hydration. <gasps> you can even see that. You can even see it. That feels like a thick girl and I love it. Oh, I don't mind peppermint. See, I'm a mint choc kind of gal, so I like that smell. I feel like in this life, you're a mint choc person or you're not. I don't feel like there's people that are like, oh, it's all right. They either love it or they hate it. I, if I go to the movies, I'm getting the mint choc top. Lastly, but not leastly, we have the L'Oreal Revitalift Clinical High Concentration Vitamin C Brightening Serum. Now, I actually got this at the Priceline event and then L'Oreal sent me another one. So I gave this to my mum and then I've kept one. So my mum's doing very well. She's very well looked after. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this one. So I've got a few vitamin C's. I've given a couple away because vitamin C is everywhere. So I was gifted quite a lot of vitamin C, but I've kept a couple. So I've kept this one and I've kept the software one. I really want to try that. I'm almost finished my Mecca Cosmetica one. I'm going to try the software one next. And then maybe I'll try this one after that because I like vitamin C in the morning. I'm a very much a vitamin C person in the morning. So I know I'll use it. Uh, this one has vitamin E and salicylic acid. So it's going to hydrate and also clean the pores all at the same time. Loves the sounds of it. Loves... I love the sounds of it. And yeah, so thank you to L'Oreal for sending me that. Thank you to Burt's Bees. Thank you to The Kind Collective. Thank you to Emco Beauty. Thank you to all of these brands, Antipodes, all these brands. I'm so, so, so grateful. And I love what I do. I love this so much. I love playing with makeup, skincare fragrance so much. I think you guys have been noticing that I'm kind of a little bit obsessive. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your feedback down below if you like these videos or not. It's my first one, so trying something new. So appreciate a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.